Alright, hello everyone. I'm here for a tutorial to teach you how to properly export a fighter's model with face shading, vertex paint, and being able to convert the rig from the new U model. So, the new U model I'll have linked in the description. Uh, all you really have to do is throw it in a new folder, and then you can open it up and use it as you would with the old U model. Um, the, the difference between uh, is that the one that is the, the newer one exports both a PSK and an FBX, but the FBX doesn't have a rig. So you have to be able to convert the rig from the PSK using a, a program called Noasis, which I will also provide in the description. Uh, and I will also provide the little code in the advanced options bar that we'll be using in Noasis. So, for an example of a character, I will look for, let's just say, um, Cooler. Well, look sharp Cooler. Alright, I don't, I'm, I'm sure this is Cooler. Let me just check real quick. Yep, Cooler's final form. So, we want to export, just like you normally would and export the textures and such and that's done now you want to go to Noasis and you'll go to character CLF mesh double click on the PSK and it shows up here then you got it right then you hit export change main output type to FBX then, in advanced options, you want to paste this code that I'm putting in the description. Because if you don't use this, then it's going to be laying flat, and it's not going to be able to be imported because it will try and use the old FBX format that isn't supported by Blender. So, you'll just after you put in the advanced options, you can hit export. It will tell you export complete, and then you can move on to Blender. Now what you want to do first is it, you can import either one of them first but I usually like to import uh, the normals one first because it's easier to get to right away so you'll just click it import it as usual and then it'll import and it'll have different colors and you'll know this is the one that has the all the special stuff on it so now that it you got this one, you can take this G root because the bone set isn't actually on the model, and this is what the problem is with the new exporter. It doesn't export the normals with the F or the, the rig with the FBX. So you'll you can delete that and then you'll just have this mesh with all the materials in line. And um you'll want to go back to import FBX and the new one that you use in Oasis to export and then it'll be like this and an, another note um, the reason you use e Oasis to export the model is because it will go at the exact same size the exporter uses uh, to make it the FBX for the ones with the rig because they have to be the exact same size like this like when you would rotate the camera it'll flicker like that because otherwise the rig isn't going to transfer properly so then you'll want to select all these meshes that have been separated. Control J will join all the meshes. Then while you're still selected on that joined mesh, you can shift click onto the mesh CLF body. Go to weight paint mode. And then you'll want to go to the tools panel. Near the bottom, transfer weights. Then in this sub panel, you'll want to go to source, by name, and then blender will take some time to catch up and as it catches up you'll see some weight paint depending on where you were selecting and then you can go ahead and delete this mesh go to this one you can go out of weight paint mode click and drag by the the little mesh icon drag it over armature and do armature deform now you can go into pose mode and test it just to make sure it works and we did it right, so it's actually moving along just as it should. Now you can do whatever you want with it, like taking the shadow mesh, the outline mesh, and the uh, the battle damage mesh. Delete all of them. 
and yeah there's the new properly face shaded cooler and the way you can tell that these are the proper uh, models is you can go into texture mode and you can see all these blue lines these blue lines are used in the game to indicate which part of the body uses the SSX texture, which makes it look like it's got that anime correct shading. So, if you have those lines, then you definitely have the proper face shading, which doesn't show much on Cooler since he's got the mask, but you can definitely see it in these ridges here. And, yeah, that's basically it. You can do whatever you want with it now, like any other VR chat model, or any model for that matter. Um, so yeah, just be sure to not take other people's mods, of course. They they take time on it like anyone else would. Um, and don't use this method to steal their mods, or I'm probably going to take the video down. I don't want people stealing mods. But uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys create some beautiful new models with this new method.